Hey, y'all. I'm going to tag some people as soon as it allows me to. Yep. Mm. Actually, I can only tag people that I'm friends with, so. You guys tag your people. Hi! Hi, guys. I'm really excited to be here. I got a page full of notes, um, and I am going to upload this to YouTube, too, so if you guys have your own team pages, you can share it there, too. Hi! I'm really pumped to talk about this subject, okay? So I'm really excited that this is what you guys wanted more details and information on. Hi! Okay, cool. Alright, well, let's get started. Okay, so, um, Amber, first off, thank you for having me on your team page. It means a lot. Let me get comfy real quick. And um, I'm really pumped to be talking with you guys. If you guys have questions, go ahead and drop them in the chat box as, um, you, as they come to your brain, or maybe you already have them written down, whatever the case may be. Um, I am very squirrely, so forgive me if I don't answer your questions until the end of the live, okay? Um... But, yeah, 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 I'm really, really pumped. Okay, so we are talking about customer appreciation and customer retention, okay? They go hand in hand, um, so I'm kind of going to, I'm going to talk about both. But the first thing that I want you guys to think of is, think of a relationship. What do you want in a relationship with a friend? Okay, what do you look for in that relationship? I want you to compare those values that you have for your relationship. I want you to compare that with your business. Okay, that's the easiest and best way that I can think of when it comes to customer appreciation. Okay, why is it worth being your customer? I want you to ask these questions, write them down. And I want you to actually answer them in the chat box, okay? And if you don't want to answer them in the chat box, write the question down and then answer it underneath where you wrote it down, okay? Why, why do you think it's worth being your customer? What values do you look for in a, in a relationship with your friend or maybe even your spouse or significant other, okay? Um, and would you want to be your customer, okay? Would you want to be your customer? Okay, if the answer is no, or maybe, then you're lacking somewhere, okay? You're lacking somewhere with your appreciation, and I'm going to break it down on what I think customer appreciation is to me, and how I retain my customers, okay? Yes, Amber said loyalty, trust, honesty, that is huge, that is huge. Kayla said, bomb customer service, friendships, and appreciation, trust and communication from Miranda, trust, yes. Okay, so let's talk about appreciation first. Whenever you receive an order, how many of you show gratitude? And what does is, what is gratitude look like to you when you get an order, okay? To me, showing gratitude is texting that person within the first 48 hours, okay? If I get an if I get an order over the weekend, I'm not going to text them ASAP unless I'm not doing anything. But if usually on the weekends I'm out and about with my family, I try to be intentional with my time with my family or my friends, whoever I'm hanging out with. So normally, I might wait until Monday to send them out a text to send a text out. Okay, but I do suggest sending a text. I don't care if you don't know the person. If you got a random PWS order from Joe Blow. You need to be texting Joe Blow and saying, hey, my name's Ray. Hey, normally my text, if I don't know someone, is, hey, it's Ray with Scentsy. I just got your order. Thank you so much. You are going to love the Hibiscus Pineapple Scentsy Fresh that you got, okay? If you don't have time to look up what exact products they ordered, no problem. Hey, girl, it's Ray with Scentsy. I just want to say thank you so much for ordering. You are going to love your products, Okay? Text them. That is how, that is the first step to building a relationship with that person. Text them. What does texting do? You're saying thank you for ordering, which is 
number one, that is the most important thing when it comes to appreciation. Say thank you. Okay? Say thank you. Say thank you. Because they could have gone to what? There's like 160,000 consultants with Sensi. They could have gone to any of the other consultants out in the world to order from, but they chose you for a reason. Why did they choose you? Okay? So say thank you. Um, and I was about to say something else and I totally just like, it totally just slipped my mind. Okay, anyway, it'll probably come back to me. Say thank you. Um, another way to show gratitude, this is huge when it comes to parties and if you have a VIP page, okay? Um, not only text them and say thank you. Oh, that's what I was saying, sorry. When you send the text, it's also giving them your contact information. So if they have any problems or if they need suggestions on future orders, they now have your phone number so they can contact you without having to go through your website and finding your information that way, okay? And you're also opening that door to saying, hey, you are more than welcome to, to text me at any time or call, call me, okay? So, all right, next thing. This is gonna go in conjunction or, yeah, it's gonna go with, this is also a plus. It does not take, it does not take the place of texting, but it's just a double, a double whammy, I would say. Especially if you have a VIP group or if you're doing a Facebook party, okay? Along with texting them, I want you to shout them out in that group, okay? So for example, let's say um, this is this will do wonders for your Facebook parties if you're not doing them already, if you're not doing it already, okay? Let's say that you had a customer order this product, okay? Or they ordered um, one of the warmers or diffusers, whatever they got, okay? And I definitely do this with if they got a any type of fragrance system, not exactly, not specifically a product, so like a warmer, um, fan diffuser or um, a regular diffuser, if they purchase something specific, I go on Pinterest or on Facebook and I literally type in the search bar for that exact product, okay? If I don't already have a picture. I find a real life picture, I post that picture in my party page and I tag the person, okay? Even if they ordered 15 products, I'm gonna pick one or two of the main products that they ordered I'm not going to share all of them, okay? I'm just going to pick one or two, maybe three, and I'm going to post real-life pictures of that product, and I'm going to say, thank you, Joe, for ordering. You are going to be obsessed with your new premium diffuser, okay? What happens when you do that is it sparks interest with everyone else in the group, okay? Because someone else in the group might not have seen the post that you did about diffusers, or they might not have seen that, that we had a diffusers tab when they went and shopped. And they're going to be like, oh my gosh, you guys have diffusers? That diffuser is beautiful. Oh, and it has a lifetime warranty? Yes, okay? Next thing you know, you're getting orders. You're getting more orders, whether they ordered or not, okay? Especially when it comes to sales, guys. The next time that we have a sales, a sale, if you did not do that, I did this in my VIP page. I don't always shout out my customers in my VIP page. I will say that I'm lacking there, um, and that's just because sometimes I'm lazy, I'm going to be honest, um, but I definitely do it for all of my Facebook parties because I'm trying to grow my customer base that way through those parties, but for the sale, what I did was I went and found real life photos of the Nightmare Before Christmas buddies. And I posted them in the group and I said, thank you, Bridget, for ordering. You are going to love these and what a deal you got, okay? And I had another customer comment on it and say, oh my God, I didn't see these. Are they still available? They were. And I got another $150 order just from sharing a thank you post with a real life picture, okay? So if you're not doing that, I highly suggest that you do that, okay? Give it a try. Um... Another thing, we're not talking about Facebook parties, but while I'm, like, that's not our topic, but I'm going to give you guys another really good tip that, two tips actually for Facebook parties that changes the game when it comes to Facebook parties. Okay, so on the very last day of the order, well, order, on the very last day of the party, I go to the description and I change the name of the party. So 
if the name of the party is Mandy's um, Scent Social, I'm gonna change it to last day to order Mandy's Scent Social, okay? Why do I do that? I learned that, I think it was from Jennifer Anderson is where I, where I learned that from, but it's a game changer, okay? Where I learned that from, or why, why I suggest you do this is because when you change the description of the party, everyone in that party gets notified. They get notified whether they have, whether they have their notifications on or not, okay? They get notified, hey, last day, and it reminds them, oh, let me go order from so-and-so's party, okay? Another thing that I do, this is a hit or a miss always, um, and it depends on that, it depends on how that person has their settings set up in Facebook, is I still go and I private message every single, every single person in that party group, and I say, hey, so-and-so is this far away from her party goal, um, here's the link to order. I basically just remind them to order, and I also say there's only, tomorrow's the last day to order, okay? So it also creates, um, first of all, most people want to, if they're in the party group, they had to, number one, accept the invite into the party group, which means, which says to me that they want to help their host get to their party goal, okay? And then it's also easy because you add the link right there. All they have to do is click and order, okay? Um, so, but private messaging doesn't always work because sometimes they don't see your message because if you're not friends with them, your message goes into a separate folder, okay? So just be aware of that. But changing the name of in the description, game changer, okay? All right, let's get back to customer appreciation. So after you're shouting them out in your VIP groups, that goes in conjunction with texting them, okay? Always, always text them. That is the most important thing. Text them and say thank you, okay? Um, all right, next. You have to get to know your people, your customers, okay? You have to get to know them. That's how they're gonna stay with you. That's, that's part of how and why they are going to stay with you as their consultant, okay? Follow them on social media. If you have a VIP page, add them to your VIP page, okay? Shout them out on your VIP page. If they're new to your VIP page, say, hey, Hey guys, welcome Lauren to our VIP. She's officially on the, the wax side or something like that, okay? Shout them out. Um, once you follow them on social media, then I want you to make an effort to engage and comment and like all their posts or whatever they're sharing, okay? Figure out what does their home life look like? And what I mean by that, I'm not just saying get nosy. I'm just saying, do they have kids? Do their kids play, play sports? Are they a dog mom? Do they like plants? Do you guys, are you, can you guys relate on any level? Um, does, I don't know, what, what do they like to do, right? What are their hobbies? Do you both like to work out? Can you connect on that level? Find something you guys can connect with, okay? And engage with them that way. Um, what's their work life look like? Are they a stay at home mom? Are you a stay at home mom? Okay. Do you guys live in the same general area? Can you meet up for lunch? Um, and then do they have a side business? Do they have a side business? Okay. Because if they have a side business, I want you to also return the favor and support them. Supporting them does not mean that you have to go and buy from them or that you have to have a party with them, but it, it could just mean you commenting, engaging on their stuff and maybe sharing whatever their side business is to your stories, helping them out that way, okay? And once they see that you are here to support them, they're gonna return the favor too, okay? A relationship goes both ways, okay? Whatever kind of relationship it is, it goes both ways. It's not a one-way street, okay? So learn what their home life, work life, and if they have a side business, learn what that is and Figure out how you guys can relate. I will say, 80 to 90% of my customer base, I did not know until I became a consultant, okay? And how did I meet them? Majority of them, I met through partying, and then I built up those relationships on Instagram and Facebook, mainly Instagram. That's usually where I do mine, okay? But now, I have multiple teenies who I did not know until 
we started chatting on Instagram. They started following me on Instagram. And then we figured out, okay, we have like a lot of things in common. And now I actually have a couple of my consultants who I never knew until Cincy, who started off as my customer, as my host, now my teamy, and now as some of my best friends. Okay? So you have to build the relationship. All right. Next, let's talk about follow-ups. I know follow-ups, especially if you're new here, they can sound, number one, scary, but they can also sound like, I guess the, the term follow-up, a lot of people, if you don't know exactly what that means, it makes you think that you're going to be annoying, okay? That you're going to be annoying. But I want you to think about this. Tell me in the comments or in the chat section, how many of you have signed up for text alerts through another company? So like, for example, I get Fashion Nova text messages. I get Airy text messages. I get, gosh, I think Hydro Drug text messages. I don't even know why I get that. Um, I get like a slew of text messages from other companies. Tell me in the chat, does anyone else get text messages saying, hey, we're having a flash sale? Exactly. So, think of it like that. When you are doing follow-ups, you are not being annoying. You are doing your due, your due diligence as a consultant and telling them what's on sale or what you have going on this, this month, week, day, whatever, going on in your business, okay? Or you're reminding them, hey, do you need a refill on wax? I'm submitting a local order, okay? Make sure, yes, I have text updates, probably way too many, honestly. But do I get annoyed when they text me? Do you get annoyed when you get text updates? No, you read it. And if you're interested, you might go and click the link and go to their site and do a little shopping. But if you're not interested, you keep on scrolling right? Your customers do the same exact thing. If they're interested, Morgan Wallen, me too. Oh my God, me too. Um, Sorry. If your customers are interested when you send out that text message saying, hey, we have a sale, an 80% off sale going on, or hey, we have some new fresh releases coming to the site tomorrow. Guess what's going to, guess what, guess how their brain works. They're reading it. If they're interested, they're going to reply back and say, yes, snag me some. Or they're going to wait until tomorrow when that product releases. Then they're going to go and click the link that you added into your text message. Okay? So we have to get past the idea of, oh my gosh, I don't want to bother people. You're not bothering people. Think about any time anytime someone that you have supported... Have they messaged you trying to follow up with you? I think that's where a lot of uh, small businesses lack, at least in the sense of uh, direct sales. I've probably had, I've ordered from a lot of direct sales people, okay? Because I love to support small. And I think I've only had one other person actually reach out to, to, to do a follow-up. That's where people are lacking. Follow up, okay? Now, when I say follow up, I don't want you to just follow up only when you have a sale or a new product release. I also want you to follow up and check on your person's kid who you saw posted three days ago that her kid was sick. I also want you to check up on them that way. Personal, right? Because that goes back to the relationship aspect. Okay? Granted, let me remind you, you cannot, you cannot check up personally with all of your customers, okay? It's just, you're not gonna be able to do that. So pick a couple people, different people each month to check up on, and that's that's perfectly fine, okay? All right, um, the other part about follow-ups, you're not, you're not annoying people. If people don't want to be on your follow-up list, believe me, they'll tell you. Okay? They'll tell you. But also, life is busy. All of our lives are busy in our own ways. So a lot of people 
are going to appreciate that you're following up with them to see if they need a refill on wax because they probably forgot, okay? I'm very appreciative when someone reminds me about something because most likely if I didn't say something, I probably forgot, okay? So if you're not using Amy, definitely look into Amy. That is a great follow-up system, fantastic follow-up system, okay? So if you're not using it, go and check it out. All right, let's talk about Okay, this customer specials, customer giveaways, um, reward what this is. You do not have to, I don't recommend doing specials all the time. I don't because what happens when you give your customers special, that specials back to back to back to back to back every single month, what happens is they expect it and they're not going to order until you have a special. Okay, so. By the way, specials and giveaways have to be private, okay? But I do believe in rewarding your customers for being your customers, okay? So whatever that looks like to you. If you wanna do a giveaway, if you want to do some type of special, whatever that is, reward them, even if it's every three to four months, just reward them. Okay, um, for some examples of this, think of, think of some of your favorite businesses that reward you when you order with them. Starbucks is one of them. Y'all have a Starbucks app? I love Starbucks. I have the Starbucks app. Why? Because I'm already gonna buy the product regardless, so I might as well have the app. So every time I order a latte or whatever, I get points to earn free stuff, okay? You guys can, you know, you can make your own customer reward system as long as you are doing it privately. And I'm not saying that you have to make a legit reward system, but reward them by maybe every three months, you're like, hey, we're gonna do a giveaway. I'm gonna give away a bathroom cleaner that I have on hand, whatever that looks like, okay? But reward them. Gas stations. Gas stations have rewards. If you shop or get gas at their gas station and their different locations, you get money off of your gas. You save, what, 15 cent or 5 cent, whatever, whatever that specific gas station has. Okay? So compare the rewards that you get from other businesses and try to figure out, okay, how can I reward my customers? Okay? All right. And the biggest thing for retention, for keeping your customers, okay? Because I already said it, at the end of the day, your customers are purchasing from you for a reason, okay? If you don't know what that reason is, I highly suggest that you go and you ask your customers why they purchase from you time and time again, okay? I have asked my customers that multiple times, okay? and you're probably gonna find out some things that you didn't realize you were doing. Good things, okay? But, why is it worth being your customer, okay? Did anyone ask, did anyone write that down and answer their own question yet? But, you, I know why it's worth, I'll answer it actually, okay? I know why it's worth someone being my customer. Number one, I show a ton of gratitude. Why? Because I'm, I am truly thankful. I would not be able to be doing this live at one o'clock in the afternoon if it wasn't for my customers supporting me, okay? So I am extremely thankful, extremely thankful. But another reason why I think and I know my customers keep coming back to me time and time again is because I do spoil them. I do do random giveaways and I do random, you know, I do like samples that I send out to people. But I think the main thing it's not about them getting free products. It's about the fact that I'm excited when I get a new product and I give them my honest review, okay? The Easter collection, for example, I went live, didn't smell any of them. Amber, you're about to, you're about to not be happy with me, okay? I went live with the Easter collection 
and I was smelling them. They were all absolutely terrible. Terrible. Okay, the best one was the, was it red? I gave them away. Was it red? The blueberry one smelled like vomit to me. Okay, it smelled like blueberries, but with a hint of vomit. I literally said that in my, in my chat or in my Facebook live. The uh, lemon drizzle cake. Oh my God. But I also told my customers like, look, they know that I'm a pure, like real lemon fan. I'm not like a sweet lemon fan. So like squeeze the day. Absolutely not. Okay. But that's where I'm going with this. You have to be honest with your clientele, with your people, with your followers. Raspberry. The raspberry one was okay. Like it was okay. But you have to be honest. Okay. If you are constantly saying that you love every single product or every single fragrance that Scentsy comes out with, your customers know that you're lying. There is no way that you have loved every single fragrance that Scentsy has come out with, okay? I, lo I like a majority of them. I have my favorites. I have my least favorites. And then I have ones that are like, smell like damn it, literally smell like a dog turd. Okay. And I will be honest with them. So that is huge. You have to be honest with your customers. Okay. You have to have to have to have to be honest. Okay. Um, but another thing why I think they keep coming back to me too, is I educate them on how to use the products. I also show them before and afters of me personally using the products. And I also share with them tips and tricks. Okay. So wash a whiffs. They're made to be used in the washer, but I tell my people, hey, use them on your carpet. Use them in your smelly shoes. Um, the pump on the laundry liquid can be added to the um, dish soap. And there you go. No more picking it up, squirting it, getting it all nasty from your nasty hands, from washing dishes. All you got to do is pump, 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 okay? So share with them your favorites. If you don't like a product, tell them you don't like it, okay? Tell them you don't like it. Be honest, share with them tips and tricks, show them how to use their products, show them how to clean up a waxident, show them how to um, mix the all-purpose cleaner together, show them, show them. Show them how to clean their diffusers, right? Okay, be upfront with them and be yourself, but you have to be number one, excited about the products that you use. Number two, you have to use the products that you're selling. If you're not using the products, or maybe you are using the products, but you're not showing your customers that you use the products, mm, that's a red flag to me, okay? What I, look, what I look for in someone who is in a direct sales business, if I go to their profile, and I don't see anything about them selling a product, I'm gonna go somewhere else. I'm gonna go somewhere else. Okay, that's me. So, educate them. Here's a little recap. Educate your people, be honest, okay? You have to be excited about your business, about your products that you're selling. You have to use the products you're selling. You need to be following up with them you need to be building a relationship with them, okay? And you need to be showing gratitude and saying thank you, okay? So, exactly, exactly. See, Brianna, I would, I, I could totally see that. I love Magnolia Linen in certain products. I do not like it in the wax because it's too strong for me. And that's what I would tell my customers. <laughs> Fun fact, actually, if I ever have a customer, this has happened probably like twice, if I ever have a customer order blueberry cheesecake, I think it's the worst, okay, second worst scent since he has ever created that I have smelled. And if I, I had a customer one time text me and say, hey, I want these wax bars, and one of them was blueberry cheesecake, and I was like, have you smelled blueberry cheesecake before? And she told me no, and I was like, it's disgusting, don't recommend it. And I'm 
you have to be honest like that because what happens and granted like some people might love it but people respect your honesty because what would happen okay prime example the harry potter collection was terrible 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 okay if i got if i got that collection if i bought that collection as a customer and my consultant had already smelled it and knowingly sold it to me knowing that it was awful without saying anything and i found out i would be pissed i would be pissed okay it's one thing if someone like actually loves a fragrance. So for example, Amber, if you love blueberry cheesecake, that's fine. But the, the longer that you're a consultant and the longer that your customers stay with you, they know and you know what kind of scents your people are gonna like, okay? So for example, I have a girl, Lucy. Her name's Lucy. She loves anything that is like a food scent, okay? So anytime I'm live, she's like my number one foodie. I call her my foodie. Anytime I'm live in my VIP page, um, I smell it and I'm like, Ugh, oh my God, I could vomit. I was like, Lucy, this is right up your alley. Blueberry cheesecake, Lucy, this is right up your alley, okay? So I don't just deter them away. I do get an idea of what they personally like before I'm like, that's disgusting. I mean, I will tell them like, that's disgusting. But just be honest, okay? Because your your nose might be different than someone else's nose, but at the end of the day, honesty always wins. Always wins, okay? So, okay, do y'all have any questions for me? I'm gonna scroll up and see if I missed anything. Brittany, the blueberry one was terrible. It was the worst one. I don't think I see any messages. Oh, I love cheesecake. Don't get me wrong, but blueberry cheesecake, that fragrance just gets me. Okay? It's not good for me. Um, okay, yeah, you guys are welcome. I'm going to upload this to... YouTube, you guys can share it if you'd like. Um, if you guys are watching the replay, drop your comments and tag me and I will answer your questions, okay? But go out and focus on customer appreciation. And guys, if you focus on the appreciation part, your customers will, your customers will stay with you, okay? That's how you retain your customers is by showing them that you appreciate them and that you value them and that you are thankful for them and that honestly at the end of the day if it wasn't for your customers your business wouldn't be thriving okay so i hope you guys have a great tuesday and a great rest of your week and a great end of month we still have three days left including today so go out and hustle and i'm cheering for you and i know amber's cheering for you so i hope you guys have a great day bye y'all